know 90% of the people use the wind tech earths because they're easy to hose off and clean. That's great. But it doesn't do anything for the horse. So over the years, you'll see we've had a lot of different wide belly girths. And you know, the wide belly is because you, you're supporting the sternum of the horse. So the smaller the girth, years ago we used to call them a knife girth, that you tighten them up and you have no support. You know, and why a horse is girthy and you know, throwing their head up and just being you know, pissy is because either they're hurting from the top or they're hurting from the bottom. So uh, this is a new girth that we designed with Hennig in Germany. You can see too how it's got a little cut out here. It's a wide belly. It sits on the sternum and it's simple. So if you tighten the girth, you know, the horse has the largest surface area to displace the pressure. Same as a weight lifter. You know, they use a nice leather belt that supports their back. It's the same thing. Yeah, you got to hose them off. You have to clean them every day. Maybe condition them too. But um, I did a YouTube video. Our horses are across the street. Our girls are three, four years old. They look better than new. You get off your horse. You get a hose or a dunk bucket. You take your girth and your bottle. You stick it in a bucket of water. Get all the hair and salt and sweat because the sweat from the horse has all the salt and when you don't clean it and that's what rots the leather and everybody's girths are cracking over here so they say well why should i spend 200 dollars on a leather girth that's going to crack well get off the horse and clean it you know i can always uh, people bring saddles and stuff in and the seats is, the stitching is going on both sides of the seat and i said well i bet you get your girth get off the horse and go whoop, right over your saddle put it on the rack you know all the salt and sweat from the girth is now on your saddle and rocks your seat away. So if you maintain things and clean them, uh, there's nothing better than a leather girth, wide belly that supports the horse's sternum, same as with taking the pressure off the pole and everything else. It's a whole system. Um, you know, and we like to do things quick and easy. And, you know, yes, the wind tech girth and the leather girth is very easy to clean, but there's no, we actually, Made this thing so hard this leather because 90% of even the wide belly girths on it that are made, the leather's so soft that when you tighten it, your point, the, the girth actually lifts off the horse, so you don't have all that surface area actually on the belly of the horse. So we really made it really stiff on the outside, soft on the inside, you know, so it places perfect where it should be. Um, you know, it's like the same thing with our bridle good money on things you take care of and you clean them. Uh, our bridles when we're done riding, the bits come off every day. If you go into the tack room, you'll see the bridles and the bits hanging right below. Right? I go to barns every day. I, I need hoof picks and pliers to take the leather apart to pull the bits off. Well the reason why my wife started doing that 15 some odd years ago is she was riding somebody else's horse and the reins broke. Okay, because nobody took care of them. So, you know, you get into a routine, it's not extra work, it's just a routine, a daily job of what should be done. And so, you know, looking at your billets on the saddle, make sure the stitching is good. We do so many emergencies, all my billets fell off the road. You know, once in a while you gotta look at your tack. And, uh, you know, so looking at what we're gonna be displaying this year at the showgrounds, It'll give you a good picture of really looking at the horses coming and making things, you know, right. Instead of just hopping on the horse, do your ride, you know, hose them off and put them away.